How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffled Relit and welcome back to a brand new video. Before we get started guys, I want to point out a few things about this video. We are once again back with the top 5 must play ROM hacks and fan games of the week. This is a series that I did a while back and we have returned now with a brand new video. Now a quick heads up for people who are watching this. In this countdown series, we basically count down games that I think are worthwhile taking a look at. Some of these games are completed, some are not, some are in the, you know, in the making, some are cancelled, some are, you know, being rebirthed and, you know, still being worked on. Again, not all of these are completed, so keep that in mind. And also, there's a mixture of both popular and not so popular games in this list. So please keep that in mind as you are watching. Either ways, let's get started with the number five on this list. And to start off this list is going to be a ROM hack by the name of Pokemon Adventure Red. Now, most people probably know about this one as it is a very popular game, and I've got to say, it's definitely worthwhile. Now, if we go through some of the features in the game that are the special features, we have quite a lot of things to look at. So one of these could be the updated graphics. Instead of using the normal fire red graphics, they actually went for an updated style where they made their own tile sets, which is bloody awesome. Gotta say, I love that. They also have several playable characters such as red, green, blue, and yellow, which is also fantastic. Loads of character customization for a lot of different characters beyond just the ones I just mentioned, which are red, blue, green, yellow. There are actually other characters you can have that also have different sort of outfits, which is also very interesting. They have all the way up to generation 7 in this game as well. There are also character mugshots for when you are talking to someone in an actual dialogue. You get a mugshot of your character, you know, and you also speak. Your character has a voice, you know, a voice, or rather your character has also text that they're saying in the game, which you don't really have in official games, but this game is a ROM hack and has it as well. You also have day and night cycles in the game, which is freaking insane for a ROM hack. Also, you have multiple regions, plus the Alola region being worked on as well. Quite a lot of things to go through and a lot of, you know, different areas to explore, so to say. New battle backgrounds included as well and following Pokemon, as well as additional, you know, features such as extra events and chapters, new music, two rivals in the game, the level cap is raised to 255, new overworld sprites and NPC sprites. Also, new trainer sprites, new scripts and events and secrets to discover, and loads, loads more. This is a game jam-packed with content, and hands down, it is one of the best games out there if you're looking for an awesome ROM hack experience. This can be played on your Android, iPhone, and PC, as well as Mac if you have an emulator for all those devices. Very simple, to the point, awesome game, loads of things to offer, and it looks phenomenal, because it has that updated, you know, fire red, leaf green style with their own new tiles. Bloody fantastic, give it a shot lads. Either way, let's go to the next one on the list. Now, coming in on the fourth spot on this list is going to be Pokemon GS Chronicles. Now, this is a game that aims to recreate the glory days of Pokemon Gold and Silver. Now, we'll go through some of the features of this game. Basically, it features a new storyline keeping the essence of the original game, but of course being new and different. A new unseen character or characters are going to be added into the game. A fully new script in all the maps, or rather the maps are fully new and scripted. Uh, Johto region maps in full hard gold soul silver style, and remember this is a ROM, which you can play on Visual Boy Advanced and stuff like that. Then they also have the introduction of Mega Evolutions into the main storyline, which is the part, I guess, where they switch out the original storyline with this new version because they also got to implement e Mega Evolutions to make them logical. They have the Ruby Sapphire Emerald tile set system, a day and night system with clock based events, wild Pokemon switching depending on the time of the day and night. And uh, that's something we've seen in, you know, pre you know, the latest few Pokemon games. Original soundtrack of Hard Gold Soul Silver, as well as some remixes in there as well. They have the physical slash Special, special split inside of the game. Some new Pokemon from the 4th to 6th generation. New moves from 4th to 7th to generation. And some new movements created by the individual themselves who's creating the ROM. As well as the fairy typing included and new clues and puzzles in the map. And much, much more. Now, I've got to say I'm a huge fan of this game. Honestly, because it seems very, very ambitious and also very lovely. There's loads of new characters or also old characters that are included. But, like, it's just so well put together in my opinion. I'm loving where this project is going and how it's turning out so far. I love the fact that they're taking actually like a straight up normal Pokemon Gen 3 game, you know, either Fire Red or, you know, Ruby or whatever, and then turning that into Gold and Silver, but with Gen 4 graphics looking exactly like something out of, you know, the like Nintendo DS era, but it isn't. 
it's bloody fantastic. I love it. I am a huge fan of Johto. It is my favorite region. So seeing this was a huge surprise and made me very happy. So I want to know your opinions as well, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think about these? Let me know in the comments down below. Is Johto your favorite region? If it isn't, then let me know which is which is your favorite region in the comment section down below. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this one. Let's go to the next one on the list. Now, coming in on the third spot, it's going to be a fan game by the name of Pokemon Marigold. Now, Pokemon Marigold is a game that's still being worked on, and I'm going to go through some of the things in this game. So, the first introduction to the game is, are you ready to take on the Tory Island and the three gym leaders on that island? Now, this is basically a game where... It's a bit shorter. It's not supposed to be a very long game. There are only about three gyms and I did a showcase on this game where I tried it out and in that showcase I already took on the first gym leader within the, like the first 20 to 30 minutes of that gameplay. So it doesn't take too long to get to the gym leaders but the very good part about this game is that it's very open. So we're gonna go through the game features right now. There are 10 Pokemon to start with. The team making possibilities are numerous. A non-linear game structure. Challenge the three gyms in any order you desire. An experience that creates a feel somewhere between the third and fourth generation of Pokemon. 40 TMs to collect and you can find them all. Loads of hidden items. Every nook and cranny has some of them. Uh, short length. Perfect for killing a few hours on a long day. Remixed music from Pokemon Gold, Silver and Crystal version. And essentially it is a game that is from the, you know, Relic Castle Game Jam, uh, which is a website that hosts these, you know, little game jams where people make short games. And it is one of those games. It's very short, but it's something you can digest in a few hours. The same way they say it like here, right here. It's short length and it's just the perfect thing to play just to kill a few hours, you know, in a single day, you know what I mean? When you're bored and doing nothing else, this is the sort of game you should definitely play. So I would recommend Pokemon Marigold. Its version right now is 1.1. I'm not sure if that's going to be changed up or if that is the final version. I think it is completed uh, to some extent, but there may be things added in the future. Who knows? But I think the game is in general, though, completed. So definitely worth giving a try, checking it out and seeing how it is. Do check it out, guys. It is quite an old game now, but still worthwhile and worth checking out. Either way, let's go to the next one on our list. Okie dokie, and coming in on the number two spot is going to be Pokemon TriMaster. Now, this is a very peculiar game, I've got to say. Now, first things first, this is a game that features Digimon. So if you're not a big fan of Digimon, or you don't want to see Digimon in your Pokemon game, then th this is definitely not the game for you. But I've got to say, this is a quite an interesting game, to be frankly honest. There is something called a battlefield from Pokemon TriMaster, where basically you have like a giant battlefield with people, you know, just fighting each other and Pokemon just falling all over the place. And it's kind of bizarre, in my opinion. But the really amazing thing about this game is it has quite a lot of features and it's a pretty long game. For one, the game features three campaigns. You have the Kanto campaign, Johto campaign, and the Hoenn campaign. And some of the features also included here, so you guys, you know, I'm gonna go through those and tell you what they are. But before we get to that point, let's go through the campaigns and see what they actually have to offer. So the Kanto campaign. Catch Pokemon to build your team of six Pokemon, you know, from Gen 1 to Gen 4, I think. Uh, earn all eight Kanto badges. You have two rivals. Challenge the po Kanto Pokemon League. Battle Team Rob Rocket, Team Magma, Team Aqua, Team Plasma, and Team Galactic in Kanto. Meet various NPCs. PCs and characters from the Pokemon games, anime, and manga, finish the Kanto region to earn the Kanto insignia and become a Pokemon champion. In the Johto campaign, much, much, much more heavy events, like apparently they're way more heavy in terms of story. Um, new fully evolved starters earn all eight Johto badges while visited by the Kanto gym leaders. You do not earn some of the badges in the same uh, traditional order, you earn them in a different way. Two new rivals, as a Kanto champion, the player must now deal with the rising threat of the a new uh, criminal organization, unlock multiple mega evolutions per battles in Johto, loads more, and then you also have a, you know, a Hoenn campaign that has even more stuff in it. It's insane, but in terms of features, the game features Poke Beans and Poke Buffs to lure certain event wild Pokemon, new food stores in the game, vending machines in all Pokemarts, all 18 types of evolutions, which I'm not sure what they mean exactly by that, like I guess they made their own custom evolutions as well. HM items, uh, following Pokemon, Alolan, uh, Alolan flower item to evolve into Alolan evolutions, multiple mega evolutions per battle starting in Johto, Z moves starting in Hoenn, and so many more features to go through, but they're not even listed here at the moment. So quite a lot of things in this game to actually look through and definitely worthwhile checking out, guys. I would say definitely check out Pokemon Trimaster if you're looking for a big experience, because this, this game is huge, like, beyond what I was expecting. But definitely give it a try, guys. Check it out. Definitely a game I think would be worthwhile. And of course, it does also feature some Digimon and stuff, I guess. But uh, not that important. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this one. Let's go to the next one on the list. 
And coming in on the number one spot is going to be Pokemon Gemstone, which is a fan game that can only be played on PC, just so you guys know. And of course, I guess Mac, if you have, you know, Windows stuff and whatever. But um, to the point, though, features in this game are pretty awesome. And I've got to say, this is a game that I'm a huge fan of, as the aesthetic of this game is probably the best part about it. So let's go through some of the features right now. Edited third generation tile sets. And that's the thing that I mentioned about aesthetics, is that this game takes, you know, fire red leaf green stuff or third generation stuff, you know, ruby sapphire for emeralds and then changes those into a more vibrant color and kind of updates them to make it look just like a million times better in my opinion and that's what's so awesome about this game it has beautiful tile sets and it's very vibrant and really colorful it also has new moves and also moves that are featured in you know later generations past generation three you have two rivals in the game eight gym leaders and the elite four new gym leaders that are you know custom made uh new evolution evolution sorry methods for trade pokemon uh following pokemon features in the game which is always lovely always appreciate that. A selection of uh, existing Pokemon from all generations, including Generation 7 as well. Fairy type included. Mega Evolutions. There is no evil team in this game, actually. New move pools, plus stats for uh, some older Pokemon. New moves and updated TM lists. So this game is jam-packed with content and stuff in it. So definitely worthwhile to check out. I definitely love it, and I have to literally give it a, uh, you know, a seal of approval, because it, it is a completed game. It's definitely worthwhile checking out. It's very calm and relaxing to play. It's very straightforward, and I love it about like I just love that about this game because it isn't too convoluted which certain games sometimes tend to be but like this game is very to the point and I appreciate and love that so either way guys that's going to be the end of this video guys if you did enjoy make sure to drop a like down below and show us some love to you know just show me some love for this video if you guys want to see more of these I'm going to be doing these weekly every single week we'll have one of these videos so if you want to see more of them make sure to subscribe and keep up to date thank you so much for watching if you want to check out any, any of these games there's going to be links down below to the uh you know, places they were posted on. Go check them out in the right, right there, guys. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, sorry for taking up so much time. Have a good day, and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.